Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to mirror your Android screen to your PC. Now if you're looking for an easy way to basically project your Android screen on your PC then this video is going to be uh, for you. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do and I'll show you how to do it with some free software which you can use. So we're going to need to install some software onto the PC and we're also going to need to install some software on the phone itself. The software we're going to use is called A Power Mirror and Control. It's a free piece of software you, that you can use to mirror your phone to your computer screen, whether it be laptop, desktop, it doesn't really matter. It will let you uh, mirror that on. So what I'm going to do is install the software on the phone and I'm also going to install it onto the computer. You have to install it on both of those, okay? So we've also got it on the computer here and I'll go ahead and start installing both of these at the same time here. Now this is a great way so you can play games on a bigger screen. You can project those onto your computer screen as I'm going to be showing you here. So let me go ahead and quickly install the software on the computer as well. Just go through the motions here uh, by just uh, clicking next and installing it on the PC. Also, you're going to need to make sure the phone and the computer is on the same home network. And also you will need a USB cable for the very first time so you can set up and it will disable the USB debugging uh, feature that's on every phone. And this will automatically do it for you. Once that's done, you can remove the USB cable and you should be able to connect wirelessly to uh, your computer via your phone and it will display the screen as you can see here. So let's go ahead and install the software onto the phone and also onto the computer. Also you're going to need to allow access to certain areas of your phone so it works properly and you can see here it's asking us to put in our USB cable. It needs to do this just for the first step so it will uh, turn on USB debugging for us so we can uh, access it. So I'm just going to quickly put this in here. There we go. And you can see now uh, the screen should now be displayed on your computer. Now this is great if you want to do a bunch of different things. You can play games here. Now if you register an account you can actually do full screen and stuff like that. But we're just using the free version which allows you to do some basic stuff. It's just a guest account I'm using here. So I've not signed up or anything like that. But you can do and get a few more features if you sign up and register an account here. So as you can see it's very simple and easy to do with this software and it's free to use and I'll leave the link in the video description for you. You can find many different reasons why you want to do this uh, but it's pretty straightforward and easy to do with this piece of software. Anyway, hope this one's been useful to you. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.